All SEC players is what we're talking about today. Now, don't be alarmed. You have not been asleep for six months and okay. missed some football games. You would think that all SEC would mean that somebody had actually played SEC football games this season. But Daniel, this but isn't, that's them talking season. That's months away. But we're yeah. still going to talk about who people think are going to be all SEC players, which I guess matters. I'm not sure. Does it? No. Does it not? We'll discuss today on the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. This is Locked On Bulldogs, part of Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. He is Daniel. I am Clint. We are Locked On Bulldogs, talking Bulldogs football and basketball when Daniel finally twists my arm enough to get me there. Oh, it's like going to be soon. Dude, it's going to be so good. Mike White. Ooh, you got Mike White, come ladder. on the pod. We uh, would love to have you. Free and open invite anytime. You tell me the time. We'll be here. We'll be here. Uh, today, we are talking about all SEC, preseason all SEC by Athlon Sports on the defensive side. Yesterday, we did offense. Get over there to the audio or to the YouTube side, however you listen to us, and download and listen to yesterday's podcast episode where we broke down our take on the offensive side for Georgia players as well as non-Georgia players. Today, we're talking about defense. We're going to do first team, second team, third team in segments one, two, and three. So thanks for mm -hmm. making us your first listen of the day. We greatly appreciate it. Let's jump in. First team defense. Daniel, we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. I'm going to okay. list for you the team. You're going to react to it after me. Yep. Or after that, you're going to react to it mm -hmm. with me and Can't i will wait. give you my reactions as well so let's mm -hmm. begin i'm yesterday i felt fine about it by the way i'm coming into today i i haven't seen the list no we've been purposely keeping them in the dark i'm coming into today expecting to get upset i plan to get angry about what i hear today that's what i'm anticipating happening okay well, we'll see if it happens let's start with first team we got Wingo LSU defensive line, Mason Smith LSU defensive line, Michael Williams Georgia defensive line, Jaheem uh, Otis Alabama linebacker, Harold Perkins Jr. LSU, uh, Watson Mississippi State, JDJ Georgia, Tyron Hooper Missouri, Kool Aid from Alabama. Oh, you love to see that. Uh, Dwight. McLaughlin, Arkansas, uh, Richardson, Texas A&M, Malachi Starks, Georgia, both safety positions, uh, and then some specialists. But that is the first team defense. Daniel, what's your first take from a Georgia perspective? Let's start there. So Michael Williams gets listed. Uh, JDJ, Dumas Johnson gets listed, as well as Malachi Starks. He gets listed on the first team All-SEC preseason. What's your take on those three guys? I'm actually pleasantly surprised that Malachi Starks made it. I did not anticipate him being a first team selection. I did think that there was a chance that Kamari Laster could have been a first team uh, selection. Uh -huh. And I think he deserves to be a first team selection, but that is probably maybe not as much of a surprise. Let's be honest. Michael Williams he might not be the best defensive player in the SEC, but he might ha he will have the best defensive season this year of any player in the SEC. I think this is going to be an abject death march of his own through all the SEC offenses. Kirby has I just know given that LSU. Pilgrimage. I know it's that LSU defensive front pilgrimage. is great. They it's, are. They're great. They are. Um. And it's hard to argue Harold those Perkins selections. Might be one of the most talented players. That's in why defense. I think he's the best. He Perkins is probably the best defensive player in the SEC this year. I have no problem stating that. You know, Jalen Carter, Will Anderson off to the NFL. He's the next guy. He's that guy. He is. Um, um but Michael Williams just Michael Williams is like a hot hot knife through butter. 
Correct. The butter is opposing offensive lines. Correct. Uh, uh, JDJ is a no-brainer. It's no an absolute. Brainer. It's an absolute Brock Bowers no-brainer. He's he's everything. He's an everything linebacker. He is everything. I was a little shocked. Um, at, at, I mean, Kool-Aid sure gets that name brand recognition. I don't know if he's actually that good. If I just look at his production on the field, I, I, I'm not saying he's not. What I'm saying is I don't know if he is. It might be a little bit of an inflated ego or, or, or understanding of who he is. So I've I'm seen saying, him get, I've seen him get wrecked sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Like, like maybe, maybe it's I a saw, Ringo situation, you know, I saw Keely. Tennessee Ooh. wreck him. <laughs> like wreck him. And then I watched our secondary play against Tennessee. And what did, what did ours do? And then what had happened was we didn't go 10 and two. No, like Mark wrecked. No, we did not. We did not It's and not so, Mark Rick 2.0. It's, it's not. No, well, different. somebody is, somebody's Mark Rick. Somebody has to be Mark Rick 2.0. Oh, no. It's, um, just, it's not, wasn't us. Yeah. JDJ, Malachi Starks and Michael Williams. Those would be, if I were to list, uh, and Daniel, it's almost like we did that at one point. We, 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 we literally we, did that exact thing. And that's why I'm a little surprised that Malachi Starks made it. I know he's that good. Yep. You know, he's that good. I do. But I'm a little surprised that the world is that high on him. Given that, I mean, last year, it's not like he lit the world on fire statistically. He was very solid and very. quite good, but was surrounded by great players. Keely Ringo, yeah. Christopher Smith, you know, right there standing next to him on every single play, uh, to name a few. So, um, yeah, happy to see it, though. He deserves it. He does. We're going to come back after this. We're going to talk about second team, all SEC, according to Athlon. But first... Bird dogs. Bird, Bird dogs, dogs again. Are the best. When I say the best, I just don't mean of shorts. I don't mean of clothing. I don't mean of athletic wear or summertime or pants. Or I I mean they're the best. And I just add a period after that. And you're like, the best of what? They're just the best. Bird dogs are fantastic. They are comfortable. I have not, I I I'm not getting out of them. I don't Why know would how you take them off. I, I mean, you got to wash them at some point. I got to launder them. And when I do, I just grab that other pair. Other, and I put another them pair. And I just you keep rolling them out. Pair. This is what I'm doing with the bird dogs because they're fantastic. They are athletic. They are comfortable. They feel amazing. Um, they are beyond stretchy material. If you got a dad bod, go check out the dad pod guys over on YouTube to see mm -hmm. how you can dad bod your way to a greater life. All of that works together. And Bird Dogs helps with that because they are perfectly fit. He got there. Perfectly what a pro. fit. What a with pro. How they fit on a dad bod. As well as you don't have a dad bod, go over there, birddogs.com slash locked on or locked on college to get your free Yeti style tumbler with every order. Birddogs.com slash locked on college. Second team defense, Clint. Yes. Here we, we are. Um, this is where I start to get very curious. You should be curious. Very, very curious. Daniel, I'm going to tell you right now, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised and also pleasantly disappointed all the nah, same time. I can't time. wait for it's, both. Okay. Uh, Deion Walker, Kentucky defensive line. Nazir Stackhouse, Georgia, second team defense. Ah, there's the pleasantly surprised look. Okay, Nazir. There it is. I, I see you. Uh, Darius Robinson, Missouri defensive line. McKinley Jackson, Texas A&M defensive line. Jet Johnson, Mississippi State linebacker. Dallas Turner, Alabama linebacker. J.J. Weaver, Kentucky linebacker. Smile Mondin, linebacker, Georgia. I was just about Georgia. to say, if we don't hear Smile. You said Dallas Turner, and I said, well, I know Smile Mondin is better than Dallas Turner, so I know we're going to get him here. Uh, now let's go to the secondary. Kamari Lasseter, Georgia, yeah. makes second no team. No brainer if he's not uh, on the first team. Rake Straw Jr., Missouri. Javon Bullard, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> now that. Now that's Nick, a thing. Emin Worry, South Carolina, over at the safety positions. Daniel, what say you again? Let's think of it from a Georgia perspective. We have Stackhouse. We have Smilemon, we have Lasseter, and we have Bullard all in Athens Sports preseason All-SEC honors. What do you think? 
Well, before I give my comments, yes. I'm going to leave a little space for all the Ohio State fans who watch the show every single day to leave and comment. their comments about what they think about Javon Bullard being listed as second team all SEC. There it is. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, good for him. Yep. Good for Nazir Stackhouse. The other two home run no brainers. Smile Mondan, Kamari Lasseter. Uh, you know, I, I make an argument at the end of this season. Smile Mondan's on that first team. Kamari Lasseter should have been on the first team preseason, and maybe he'll be on it postseason. Um, Nazir Stackhouse, though, Clint. Okay, we're talking about this is surprising. Over. He's over a lot of guys. Like on the I'm just thinking about the Georgia defensive front. Not even not even in the SEC, on our own team. On our own team. Nazir Stackhouse over Zion Logue. And look, maybe I'm not saying I'm not coming on this podcast and saying definitively that Zion Logue is over Nazir Stackhouse. But it's interesting to me that he's the guy that gets the nod. It's also interesting to me that none of the other young edge pass rushers there it is. are on the second team. This is the kind of disrespect and inappropriate behavior. My friend Disray got new specs. And... He um, said inappropriate, like he is disciplining a child right now. It's just a pattern of disrespect and inappropriate behavior is all it is. Um, it's, yeah, we'll get to it when we get to the third team because I expect to hear some more pass rusher names for Georgia on the third team. But it is disappointing that some of those guys are not listed on the second team. But happy for Stackhouse to receive that kind of recognition. Um, you know, it's, he's obviously going to be a key piece of this Georgia defensive yes. front. And he is, I would say on this podcast, he's under-talked about. We, uh, we, we don't talk about him enough. We don't. We are high on Zion Logue. You and I both yeah. have Zion Logue uh, pretty high. And um, I've been on record saying I think Warren Brinson is going to have a big year for Georgia this year. Yes. But that yeah. does not mean I'm low on Nazir Stackhouse. Because I'm high on Brinson does not mean that I'm low on Stackhouse. I think Stackhouse is a key piece for this Georgia uh, defensive front. And I think when you look at a guy like Jalen Carter going to the NFL, it's a significant area of need for Georgia to solidify the middle in a big, pun intended way, uh, and Nazir Stackhouse absolutely has the capacity to fit that bill. This is, uh, to us, Zion Logue is the Wyatt of this year's Georgia defense. Uh, that's what we anticipate. We thought Wyatt was going to have a big year. He did have a big year. He got drafted. I expect the same thing for Zion Logue. But Nazir Stackhouse, that doesn't limit you. Uh, go out and show out, son, and people believe in you, clearly. We're going to come back after this, talk about the third team defense, all SEC preseason honors from Athens Sports right after this. Daniel, we're back with uh, who Athlon Sports believes will make contributions on the defensive side. By uh -huh. the way, welcome 199. Glad you're here. Loyal 399 listeners. Ha Bonfire. Absolutely thrilled to have you. Bonfire.com slash store slash the 199. Yes. Get your merch. Go get t-shirts. That's what it is Wear right it there. Like um, okay, Daniel, uh, I'm not going to bury the lead. Let me get to all the – I'm just going to list for you Georgia players that are on the third team defense. You were excited about a couple of uh, young edge rushers that I think uh -huh. got overlooked, uh, should have been second team in my opinion with a couple guys. So um, I'm going to give you – I'm just going to list all the Georgia players that are on the third team defense for all SEC Athlon Sports, and then I'll have you tell me your thoughts on where they land. Are you ready? I, I am more than ready, okay. beyond ready. I have just listed to you all the Georgia players on the third team. Oh, <laughs> Athens Sports. They listed no one else, Daniel. You said last segment the disrespect, the inappropriate behavior. It's a pattern. And then they went and they didn't list a single other 
Georgia Edge defender. Okay. Well. Uh huh. <clears throat> it's almost like let, now. Now stop me if you've heard me say this about pundits and and why I keep on telling you one ninety nine you're here for good reason. I keep on telling you don't listen to national media people. Don't listen to people that cast a giant flipping net because they don't know squat. Daniel and I, we love Georgia, but we will tell you certain players shouldn't have been higher up on there. We were surprised as their Sackhouse got there. We think he's going to be good, but look, there's other players. Michael Williams is going to have a breakout season. We can tell you all this, and we get the third team. There should be Georgia players here on this defense better than these guys here. Let me let me list to you Cedric Johnson, Old Miss, uh, Princely, I can't pronounce his last name, Florida kid, Tonkin Hemingway, South Carolina, Justin Rogers, uh, Auburn, Chris Paul Jr., Arkansas, Shamir James, Florida, Omar Spites, LSU, Aaron Beasley, Tennessee. I, I'm here to tell you, Georgia got better players than them. It, I mean, I kind of thought we might see even like not just Zion Logue on this nope. list. I'm talking about. Ingram Dawkins, Tramiel Walthor, I thought we might see on this list. You're Jaylen, gonna t- Jalen Walker? You're you're gonna tell me that yeah, Jalen Walker is an absolute atrocity to not be on this list. Marvin Ty Jones Smith. Jr. is an absolute atrocity yep. to not be on this list. Um I get that there are guys that haven't played sure i'll be honest with you clint chaz chambliss should be on this list i'm telling you right now i saw him begin to set an edge he's not as good as some of these freshmen no that are coming up some of these some of these redshirt freshmen some of these young young pups that are coming up and it's the same thing we said yesterday. I understand Carson Beck's not going to be on an all SEC team because Carson Beck hasn't done anything. And I get that Samuel and Pemba hasn't done anything in the SEC. <laughs> I get that Christian Miller hasn't done anything in the SEC. I understand that those guys haven't done done things yet. Jalen Walker has. Yes. Marvin Jones has. I've seen it. And Chaz Chambliss has done a lot in the SEC. Again, there's a there's a lot of Georgia names that should be on this list. I think when you get guys making these lists, sometimes you start to get a little fatigue. I think it's like a little Georgia fatigue. It's it's kind of like you know, it's it's kind of like what you do at fantasy drafts. Near the later rounds you're just like, I don't know. I just go to the sheet and pick a name. I don't really care at this point. Have exactly. fun. Can I get a that. Georgia player? That's what I do in fantasy drafts. In that's, late rounds. that's what you should do, listener, in fantasy drafts. Um, yeah, it's absolutely shocking. It's absolutely disrespectful. That is Athlon Sports All SEC preseason first, second, third team. Go look at the list for yourself. Tell us where you agree, disagree down in the comments. Go over to the audio side, subscribe, listen. This has been Locked On Bulldogs, part of Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We will see you all next week. See you.